one of the sins out of our youth. Uh, you know, we started the band when we were 14 years old, and back then we had a quite interesting teacher. His name was Edgar. And uh, searching for a band and looking for something which is very unique, uh, we just mixed up some letters and came up with the word Edgar, which we back back then we thought it might be a pretty cool name and a pretty unique name, because uh, well, let's be honest, no other heavy metal band in the world will ever call themselves Edgar because it's such a stupid name, and that's. Uh, yeah, at a certain point it was too late to change the name, so we just kept it. It was an experience, yes, definitely. Uh, I mean, that's definitely something I don't regret having done it, uh, but I wouldn't do it every year. You know, it's a, a big party, it's a very funny event to be there on, in the Caribbean on sea and play two shows. Uh, on, a sh on a ship like that. It was a very, very nice ex uh, experience I didn't want to miss. Yeah, if you don't stay in your cabin, you don't have any other choice than meet other bands and meet the fans. So. <laughs> oh, I, but I think that's part of the concept of, of, of this whole event and that's uh, how this event is supposed to be. And uh, everybody was very friendly, so I didn't make any bad experience with anybody. So all the friends have been partying together with the fans and it was just a very nice experience. Uh, I hate being stuck on a boat. That uh, doesn't have anything to do with the fans or with the people. It's just, you know, after two days you have seen everything on the whole ship and then you're just hanging around and waiting for arriving on a, on, on a country that you can get off the boat and then you get on the boat again and you're just waiting for arriving at the next harbor. So it's just uh, the kind of being... Uh, uh, it feels like being in prison. You can't get... You can't go when you want to go and where you want to go. That's... Uh, that's a thing that I don't like too much, so it has nothing to do with the festival itself, it has just to do with uh, being on a boat. Uh, well, to be honest, we didn't plan on, on, on changing, it just, it just happens. I mean, we started the band when we were very young, and the first albums that we did, like uh, Ben Gori Opera and Theater of Salvation and all that stuff, uh, it soon became everything sounded alike, a little bit alike and we were looking for ways to keep our music interesting for ourselves as well as for the people but we didn't force anything so uh, whenever there was a change, whenever there was a new element coming to the, into the music it, was, it came out naturally, you know, we never had a master plan like in which direction we probably could go with the next album it just happened the way it did and uh, you know, we don't um, we don't want to stop. If, if something is happening naturally, we don't want to stop it because we're saying, oh, we're a heavy metal band, we can't do this and we can't do that. We just do it because it feels right. It doesn't have anything to do with the record company. It's a natural development a band is going through. So it's, we would have sounded the same if we would have stayed on AFM records. Uh, so it has nothing to do with the business side, let's call it this way. It's just. Uh, we don't want to uh, do the same thing over and over again. And so you have to look for new influences, you have to improve your playing, of course. That's a big part of the change as well. I mean, when we started the band, we barely could play our instruments. And uh, everybody's improving on his instruments, so nowadays we are able to realize ideas that we maybe had 10 years ago, but just couldn't play it. Um, I think it's um, a little bit of both. Of, of course you have always, you know, the hardcore fans who always like the first album that a band did and everything else is just uh, crap. Uh, but uh, since we, I, I feel we have a pretty good balance. Of course, if you're not doing the same style of metal over 15 years, then there are some people who don't like changes. That's uh, especially in heavy metal, that's uh, part of the deal. Uh, but on the other hand, we had the, the opportunity, since we did so many support tours, for example, the Scorpions and something like that, we had also the chance to gain a lot of new fans. And, um, well, I think to um, bottom line is that we gained more new fans than we lost old fans. Because if you look at uh, the tours that we are playing, there are more and more people coming to the show. So for me, it looks like uh, we gained more new fans than we lost the old ones. No, not yet. I mean, of course, everybody's collecting ideas constantly, but um, right now, you know, we, we have done a lot of touring right now. We have a lot of to do in the festival season. Uh, in autumn, we will do another tour with Deep Purple in Germany. So right now, we're constant, we're focusing on being on the road. And when this is done, then we start thinking about a new record. 
Time will tell, time will tell. I, I don't know, I think uh, we're all kind of smart, you know, we're, we're not doing drugs, we're not doing too much alcohol and too much unhealthy stuff. So uh, that has been the things that especially bands in the 80s were suffering from. Um, but I think, you know, we just really enjoy what we are doing and we will, do, we will do everything to keep on doing it the best possible way. And so um, we will see. I don't know what's going to happen in 10 years, but uh, hopefully I will stand on stage with the, five, with, with, with the four other guys of the band. Yes, I can. I can. I mean, um, it's, it's not a problem. I'm living, for example, in a very small village. So, um, I mean, everybody there is used to have a musician in the neighborhood. So it's not a problem at all.